when did you when did you eventually meet Lee Morgan? Uh, Lee Morgan actually came to Detroit. I think I was eighteen, maybe nineteen fifty eight, and he was playing with Art Blakey. That's why it was really interesting to see that. And I heard Lee Morgan, and uh, it was just beautiful to hear what they were doing with uh, Benny Golson, that particular group that you saw, you know, and so. I guess that's when I met him. But uh, years later, uh, you know, I studied music at a conservatory in Detroit, and I played it, uh, a lot around Detroit locally, and I uh, got an audition with a group known as the Four Tops. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, you know, if you were going to work, you had to play with the doo-wop guys. So the Four Tops, they hired me, and uh, they took me to New York. And after I got to New York, uh, the, the very first time I had some free time, I went to hear the Thelonious Monk. I mean, today is Monk's 100th birthday. Yes, it is 100th birthday, yeah, centenary. But uh, I was fascinated by that. And uh, I made up my mind that night after listening to Monk and his group, I was going to live in New York. So I immediately told them after they came and we was time for us to finish our tour. I said, I'm going to work with you guys two more weeks, and then I'm going to live here in New York. They just sort of looked at me. Mm. But that was it. I knew what I wanted to do then. I knew before then, but that solidified it, because I was there with Thelonious Monk, yeah. of all people. <laughs> the four tops are great, but, you know, Monk. <laughs> what are you going to do? But the, the experience with the, with the four tops, it really gave me an opportunity to, to travel a little bit. We uh, went upstate New York, played in an area known as the Catskills. Anybody from New York know about the Catskills? Yeah. Well, they call it the Borscht Belt. <laughs> but uh, it was it was there that I, I started to really realize that, you know, this is a business. And you have to really be serious about it. So I decided if if I went back to Detroit, then maybe I wouldn't be able to do what I really wanted to do. And by then, I had been listening to everybody. Like I said, I had already met John Coltrane and Sonny Rollins and, and Wayne Shorter and a whole host of musicians who came in and out of Detroit. I was the kind of kid who was always there. I said, hey, can you tell me something? I got a question. And I just bugged everybody all the time. To learn. To learn. 